Let's Nine get girls, them all one boy. Matching tank tops, Lainey, because <laughs> it's hot. A lot of pink going on, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, a lot of folks are hoping to have some plans for the weekend that they can go through with and not have to worry about the storms, right? Well, we do have opportunities for some stormy weather. We're going to help you plan, though. Blues Lake. Yeah, folks out there even today, and I know the lakes and the pools will be busy. Here's the good news. It's not going to rain the entire weekend, but there are opportunities for wet weather. We've got a few showers and thunderstorms Saturday, late day, better chance for showers and thunderstorms on Sunday, and then perhaps a stray shower or storm on Labor Day. And it's not going to be this hot. Highs out there today were in the mid 90s, so we were at 95 in Greensboro, Winston-Salem, 93 in Mount Airy. It's still really warm. It's still very humid. Upper 70s, close to 80. Feels like temperatures still in the mid 80s in Greensboro. That's because our dew points are in the low 70s, so that is incredibly humid air, and we have had at least a few spotty showers and thunderstorms out there. Thankfully, most of it staying up over the border in Virginia today. We had one thunderstorm of the last hours kind of fizzled out there near Sandy Level and another one developing here near the Ruffin community just west of Yanceyville. Here's where we had some of the downpours today. It was pretty active in the late afternoon over Guilford County, even had a flood advisory issued and you see some of the heavier rains there in the western part of Guilford County and then some downpours too in Alamance County. Then we actually had severe thunderstorms that were up over western Grayson County and you can see some of the heavy rains too pushing down even into parts of western Allegheny. County from earlier today. We do still need some rain in the communities that are in the West. So mountains and foothills with our updated drought map still abnormally dry and it has been dry in August as of late. We got 0 0.03 inches of rain at PTI Airport in Greensboro today. So most of it not close to the airport. In the last 12 days, we've had no rain and that puts us about an inch and a half below normal. We have to go back really for the substantial rains on August. August 8th and 9th, and that was from Debbie. Now we do have opportunities for rain in the coming days, but it's not going to be real widespread. I don't think everyone is going to get a soaking with this, but there will be at least some storm chances around. This front that is just to the north, that's where most of the activity has traveled right along it, so it didn't quite get south into our area, but nobody's complaining about that especially football fans. You can see just a little trough of low pressure overhead. Could see an isolated shower in the next few hours. And if we do get some rain where you are, you could have some fog in the morning. Temperatures will be in the low 70s to start. I think there's going to be a good bit of cloud cover around tomorrow. That should keep the temperatures down just a little bit. Upper 80s, close to 90. Not much storm activity during the daytime hours. Maybe an isolated storm. As we get closer to nightfall, I think we'll see a few more scattered storms around. Most of it focused in the the western half of our area. So over the mountains and foothills, that's where we have our highest rain chances tomorrow. We also are in that marginal risk, meaning any storms that do develop could have some damaging winds with them. Storm chances will go up as the sun goes down. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s in the Piedmont. We're talking about mid 80s for the foothills. Also that storm chance getting higher the later it gets in the day. And then some scattered showers and thunderstorms likely in the mountains. Here is our seven day forecast and you will see once we get this front through here on Labor Day, the temperatures drop again into the 70s.